Hi and welcome to the Azam Sharp YouTube channel. I'm your host Muhammad Azam with another awesome screencast and this screencast is about vapor. We're going to continue learning vapor. Now if you have missed the last screencast, I would highly recommend that you do so. Go ahead and check out the introductory screencast for the vapor server side Swift framework. So in the last time we actually did a drop dot get uh, which allowed us, uh, hold on a second, I can actually over here say hello. And basically we can go ahead and uh, return something for a particular route, which in this case is hello. So this will be a request. And, and I can simply return over here, hello world. All right. Now if I run this, it's going to start the server. And once the server is started, you're going to see something in the output window over here and I can actually go ahead and refresh it and you'll see hello world. Now one of the issues with this is that the hello world is in plain text. Uh, most probably if you are creating some sort of a web API, you do want to return a, a, a JSON format or XML format, mostly or preferably JSON. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to say JSON and you can pass in the node and I can pass in the key just like a dictionary basically and pass in the uh, the message that I have. Now you have to call this JSON with a try because this can actually blow up. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, go ahead and run it again and see what happens. There we go. I'm missing one thing. All right. So let's go ahead and run it again. And we're going to see that now if I go and visit that, uh, it is actually converted into JSON. And that's pretty cool that, that we can return JSON so easily. All right. Now, in actual application, you will not be returning uh, these kind of things. And most probably, you will already have a class. So let's say you have a class message, and you will be returning that message. We can actually take this as structure, not a class. Uh, and then we can say a text of that, or a title, the title of that message, and uh, some sort of a description of the message, which will be stored in the description uh, property. All right. Now I can go over here and I can create the object of that structure. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the title is uh, hello world and the description is let's say uh, hello world uh, from vapor. Now if I try to return instead of a node uh, this guy over here if I try to return uh, the message it's going to start complaining that the message is really you can really return messages all right because it's your custom structure or a, a class in order to make the message structure or a class to be returned from uh, the vapor as json you can uh, implement the res node representable uh, protocol now this case in this case you will have to implement also the method or the functions provided by the node representable protocol and one of them is or the required one is actually make node all right now in this case you can create a node and you can return it and you can pass in the key that you want so i'm going to say title and this will be self.title and i'm going to say description and i can pass self.description the node again can actually blow up so i have to call it with a try go ahead and run it again uh, let's go ahead and run it and you will see that this time it will be able to convert the message structure into a JSON format and it will be able to return it. This is pretty cool. Not only that, but you can also return uh, the array of messages. So if I create another message over here, uh, message title, and I can say by world where the description is by by from vapor. I can actually add that uh, and basically send that out as a node. Let's go ahead and run it again. And you will see that now instead of returning a dictionary, it is going to return a uh, array of dictionaries. There we go. And that is pretty cool. I mean, and that is pretty much it. I mean, most of the time you will be returning, uh, you know, converting your objects just like message class or a message structure 
uh, and then returning either a single object or a single dictionary or an array of dictionaries because that is the only way you can represent items or structures in a JSON format. So that is pretty cool. I'm really excited about Vapor and uh, I hope you are also excited about it. I think this is the future of the server-side Swift or Swift language in general and hopefully uh, in a couple of months basically or four or five months or so we are going to see a lot more advancements in the server-side Swift technologies. I hope you like it. Stay tuned for more. Thank you very much.